Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. We're continuing to check out some more games from Steam Next Fest. Next one on the list is Synergy. The only thing I know about this one is that it's some kind of city builder management style game with a very unique art style. I think the first game that I saw that had an art style like this was a game called uh, Sable, I think. And then since then, there's been a few other games released with this particular art style. But I'm a big fan of City Builders, so let's uh, see what this one's got. No Man's Land. Okay. Learn the basics of the game. Yeah, we'll see what this one's got. Is it doing anything different? All right. An end to the wandering. For two generations, our community uh, lived in the heart of the oasis, protected from all the hazards of the outside world. But this oasis, like all the others, dried out and died. We are forced to leave our homes. But not all is lost. Okay. Obtaining water. Okay, your citizens require clean water to survive. In order to obtain it, you must build a pontoon. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these city builders kind of do the same thing. You have to kind of figure out what the order is and all that fun stuff. Uh, all resources acquired must be stored at water uh, tower. We have a cellar and we have a small warehouse. Can I pause the game for a second? Do we have a pause? Uh, we can move the camera around like this. We can zoom in and out. One thing I want to see if I can change immediately. Can I do WASD movement? Oh, it's by, it's by arrows by default. Uh, is there other, okay, there's other things that are set for WASD, which I don't need. I, I, I prefer the, oh, uh, wait, up placeholder text. Oh, can I not rebind, uh, the keys? I guess I can't in the, in the demo. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully they'll fix that in the main game. I can use the arrow keys or I can just do this. That's fine. All right, where's my build menu at? Oh, click to hide, there we go. Yeah, where's my build menu? So we have basic food, prepared food, water. Oh yeah, can I pause? Um. That's like, as I'm going through this, I'd kind of like to pause so I'm not burning um, resources. We got finished products, we got tools, we have technologies, plant resources, natural ingredients, fungal seeds, waste, raw materials. Okay. Uh, housing. We have a job, needs health, okay. The citizens are homeless. Quest tracking. Can you rename the citizens? Uh, no. But it's the demo. I don't really expect that too much. Oh, now I've got a build menu. Okay, okay I just had to move around. I'm like, where's the build menu at? Okay. Um, so is this water right here or, um, or I guess this is water? That's water. So what is, what is this? Some kind of, or is this like, um, fer not fertilized dirt, but, uh, like good dirt? 
Okay, here we go. What do we got? We got trails. Okay, so there's that. A lightweight build equipment for uh okay. So do I actually need to put that out out here then? We'll do it like right right there. You know, the guy is gonna come over here and, and build that then. Oh, where'd this come from? Or maybe it was there the whole time and I just didn't even notice it. Uh, so we need a water tower. So if this is where our town is going to start, that's fine. We'll put a water tower next to our... Um, can I, like, spin or rotate this? Oh, hold on. Is there a spin rotate button? Oh, advanced hub is... HUD is tab. We'll have to check that here in a second. Oh, there is a pause resume. It's D. Or space. Oh, okay. Oh, and the build menu is control. Ah, okay. Oh, anyway, let's get the uh, the water tower down. We'll let you guys start building on that. So where's my citizen's number? It's it's ten. Okay. ruins over here. Alright, and then I need to do a basin. Which is this thing. I guess I'll just put this like... Oh, does this have to be like in water? Oh, 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 wait. It has to be near, like, the shoreline or something? Kind of? Oh, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting new pop-ups as we're getting into this. So, right under me, I just got the, um, pause and speed up time thing. You guys can't see it, but it's there. I'm famous for trying to jump ahead of the tutorial. Again, I've played so many city builders. I'm like, okay, where's all my things? I need them. Okay, so down here, we got some new things. Also, uh, I'm not showing the mouse cursor. Let me show that here real quick. For a game like this, it would make sense to, so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Oh, okay, so these are like sorting things by building type. Got it. So does this mean... Oh, I have no assigned worker. Well, can I do that? Boom. This person is now assigned to this building. And what is your problem? Oh, construction completed. And I don't need to assign anybody to that. Okay. So we just gotta look, work on this last building here, and then we'll, uh, I, I do like the animations for this. It's very nice. Yeah, my citizens don't have any homes. Thank you, game, by the way. Oh, I just realized the game appears to be uh, disabling hotkeys until the tutorial has actually taught you the thing. Because like a couple minutes ago, I tried to pause the game with spacebar and it didn't let me. Now it does. That's interesting. 
Cool. That's done. All right. Assign two citizens to here. Again, I was jumping ahead of the tutorial. I shouldn't have signed. All right. So there's two there. And then assign one citizen to the, uh, the basin. There we go. Cool. Oh, my speed is at two. Take my speed back to one. Vital water. We now have a water treatment infrastructure and the foundations. Okay. Obtaining water. Obtaining clean water is critical for the city survival and development. Okay. All right, build uh, two uh, basins, assign two citizen citizens, and then obtain 20 clean water. You are missing uh, resource toxic water. And here they're bringing over toxic water. They're going to put that in the thing there. I think. I like how this guy is just like hanging out as he's like waiting for resources to like get there. Oh, this guy actually has a cart that he's loading full of, like, toxic water. Yeah, I, okay, I, I, therefore, I, for whatever reason, I thought they were fishing. I guess they're fishing for toxic water. Okay, now that's all full. Well, we got to build another one of these, so let's go ahead and just knock out uh, a second one here. We'll put them, like, side to side. I wonder what the reason is that I can't place it, that, like, this has to be along the shoreline. I wonder why that is. We'll just go ahead and get the uh, next one built there. I might go ahead and actually speed up the game speed a little bit. So does this have, uh, this must have storage then. Output inventory. Basic recipe. Okay, so yeah, we're just generating this toxic water. Okay, 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 okay. I like the music, it's very chill. Kind of wish I could zoom in a little bit closer. Like I really, I want to see the detail, right? Let me get in nice and close. Oh, there's like a seasonal thing down here in the corner that I'm hiding with my camera. That's kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and assign another citizen to that machine. So yeah, it's like cycle one, a temperate season. I'll hide my camera here for a second for anybody who wants to see that. So yeah, it's like giving like a weather forecast. That's cool. Hmm. All right. Hey, we got our first clean water. Look at that. Go over there and put it in the tower. Cool. Oh, that was that was more than one. That was 20 a stack. Well, cool. Our inhabitants have slept for too long under the open skies. We probably get to build housing now. Uh, resources withdrawal to construct buildings. You'll need resources. They can be collected in several different ways. Okay, I think I got the gist of it. Okay. Uh, rock and rock clusters. Okay. Again, if you were like an if you were new to city builders, you'd probably be really like reading everything. But for me, I'm like gather resources. Got it. So 
we have a construction menu here. Withdraw resources, prioritize, destroy buildings. Okay. Got the small warehouse. Yep. Withdraw resource. Okay. We're going to come over and mine that out. So is there like a mass selection tool for that? So I'm just going to like grab like all these rocks and be like, hey, start mining. Again, this is me like guessing a little bit, but I would assume that at some point down the road, we're going to get like some sort of extractor technology maybe. Like I can put down a mine or something similar in nature. Oh, I also got to build a, a warehouse. Well, we'll go ahead and build our warehouse over here. There's got to be a way to, like, spin this, right? Oh, shift? Okay, there it is. Also, I like the grid lines there. That's very nice. I did uh, have one nitpicky thing. In this menu, if I hit escape, it doesn't close the menu. Devs, escape always takes you back one step. Always. All right, so we got 50 clean water now. Do I have a thing here that tells me if I have idle workers? Again, I might not have things fully uh, open to me just yet. Am I jumping ahead of the tutorial if I start getting food? I better not. I'll wait, chat, until it tells me they're hungry. Housing. Okay. As well as setting houses within the range. If the citizens are able to eat and drink. That must be clean water. Okay. Got it. Transport and priorities. Okay. Makes sense. It's like things go to warehouse, warehouse then goes to regular houses, so forth and so on. Uh, build a cellar. Done. Beginning of a new cycle. So what's our new cycle? We're in cycle two. Basically, it's a hot sunny day out there. Uh, and then we got to build three houses. All right, where's my where's my houses? We got the uh, the tent, the stone house, the other stone house, and then the other other stone house. Uh, what's the difference here? So they're all three by three. They're all one to two citizens. Three to six days. The resources are the same. So it's simply just the visual look of said house. Whoop. Um, sorry, Windows sticky key. Um, normally that's disabled for games. <laughs> All right, this game doesn't have that. At least the demo doesn't. Don't hit shift too many times. Whoops. We'll put down one of each style of house here. 
Man, I haven't had that sticky thing come up in like years. But you immediately know what it is. So I'm assuming that that is the seller's range. I have a question. Actually, I'm sitting here looking at this. Oh, no. Did we have a crash? Oh, oh. oh that's a shame. Uh, we'll see where we had a save point there. I was going to say, it looked to me like the um, cellar was not centered within its uh, square. I, I felt like it was off by like one... Um... Dang it, I keep hitting WASD to move because every other game is like that. So I think I just got to rebuild my houses. Hold on. Uh, can I can I count the squares here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it is centered. It just it, something's throwing me off. I thought it wasn't centered. Sorry, what what did that say? Oh, I I think we're okay. Yeah, the Windows uh, sticky thing may have actually caused the game to like crash. It's, it's yeah, it's possible. Food's probably next. We're we're gonna be getting low on food. Construction complete. And setup complete. All right, cool. Four adults and zero children have joined the city. The supplies we have carried uh, with us are dwindling day by day. Yup, yup, yup. Environmental analysis. Build a field lab, which then goes into that, which then goes into uh, other things. Okay. Harvesting. Got it. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? All right. So what, build a food lab. We'll start with that. Th this will be like our, uh, our town square kind of deal. Oh, I'm definitely getting more things down here at the bottom. Does this have a radius? I think it does, maybe. Eh, maybe not. All right, and then we got to build a picker's cabin. Probably very similar to like a um, Herbless hut or, or something like that in, in other games. Does this have a radius? 
if it does, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to put this, like, out of the town a little bit. Because I can see all this stuff here. So let's build that up there. Then analyzing a moisture pod bearing plant. Okay. No food in nearby. Uh, construction completed. Wait, is that done already? You need more workers. Oh, look at that. We got like little uh, robot arms. This technology kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know, like the Jetsons or something like that. It's kind of like that, you know, like when they were trying to make sci-fi movies in like the 40s and 50s and they were trying to figure out what the technology was going to look like. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay, analyze a moisture pod bearing plant like this. Now that's withdrawal actions. Uh, during action prune, withdrawal, pick. Uh, it's also adult pour. Oh, I like the little, um, the path thing there. Let's see, was there another plant? Oh, there's no, oh, there's no assigned worker up here either. Um, there we go. So I'm assuming that person is just going to run around and pick stuff now, huh? Maybe. Okay, complete analysis to get this information. Or do I have to tell this person to... Okay, add... Okay, cool. I like this an analysis. This is So this is like a little bit different. Surface analysis. And then do I just click on something? Like this. Go into, oh, that's cool. Go analyze the berry bush. Go analyze this tree. Go analyze whatever that thing is. That's a neat feature. I like that. So yeah, they have to analyze each flora that we can find to get the info. Chat, there's just way too many good games. So we're receiving our analysis report. By cutting down the uh, sharp bush. Able to collect uh, its branches. Okay, so we got that stuff. We got moisture pods. Okay. Surface analysis day 62. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I have even more uh, options down here now. What's Book of Knowledge? Oh, that's all of our, like, analysis. Is this a culture? thing? Oh, that's interesting. So we have got technology tree, world map, culture tree. Yeah, these games generally don't do culture, so that's interesting. So do I have to tell this guy to go... Yeah, choose a task to assign. 
I guess fruit picking? So may, is that gonna get us our moisture pods that we need? Okay, okay, okay. This guy's running around just analyzing everything. Yeah, I mean, something that JT just kind of said in chat. Can you imagine No Man's Sky, right? But it's a top-down style game like this. Where you're actually managing a community. That'd be different. Okay. So I gotta figure out... What is giving me moisture pods? Because whatever I'm doing now, I, I'm not getting the moisture pods. Oh, here's a water point. Oh, we can place a well there. Is that clean water, though? What is this thing? So I'm assuming... Oh, wait, 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 wait. These... Oh, that gives me moisture pods? So what about this? Oh, no, no. This gives me moisture pods, too. But I'm not collecting them, though? Can I have you pick from this one and only this one? I want to see if you can collect me moisture pods. Because maybe you were picking something that wasn't a moisture pod. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, I have to, like, look at the individual, like, items here. Oh, we haven't analyzed that thingy yet. Whatever that is. And so I was like, if I need moisture pods, then I have to actually pick something that will grant me moisture pods. So these things are fibers and vegetables. So no moisture pods from the shrubs. These trees are tree trunks and bark. Okay, but we're, we're generating pods now. I kind of need to add, like, another person to this picker's cabin. There aren't enough homes to accommodate all of your citizens. Well, I think we can probably fix that. Because I've got 14 citizens, and these houses are only like two, right? Oh, interesting. We're getting a temperature as well. Oh, no, it says capacity is four. So, yeah, I, I was only one house short then. Hey, did you just pick that one bush? Oh, is it out? Oh, I think it's out. Oh. Uh, let's see here. How do I tell you not to pick that? I mean, it says he's fruit picking, but I don't think he's actually fruit picking. Can I, like, undo that? 
Deselect elements. Okay, I don't need that. Because he picks it once, and it's like, done. So, here, I mean, I need to kind of like do this, right? So, like, bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. I need to like grab all the fruit bushes. All right, we'll see if that's enough to get the job done. What's our problem here? Oh, construction complete. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, analyze person. We got some more stuff we need to analyze. Did I click the wrong button? Or are you like already doing your thing? Oh, I just told him to analyze the bush again for no reason. Go analyze the tree a second time. Okay, so there's uh, river bank fungus. Hey, all right, resource refining. We're slowly working our way up the tree. Got it. Got it. We need a kitchen and a forge and then metal scraps. All right. I think I'm going to start like, so if this is one street, I'm going to do another street like up here, maybe. Kind of. We'll put the kitchen there. And then let's put the forge. I and mean, this forge is actually a big building. Jeez. Wonder if I can destroy um, stuff. Okay, we need forty simple metals. Did we find a like metal um, deposit or anything around here? What is... So, I'm assuming this big cluster right here is for mining, maybe? Why can't I mine... Well, you know what? We might as well just, like... Let's grab some more... How much stone do I have? Where was my, like, stone... Um... Oh! Oh, that's nice. It puts all the plant resources under one um, drop-down. Okay, I actually, I kind of like that. I kind of do, kind of don't. Yeah, they, I can just hover over this and it just shows all of them. I, I do like that. But yeah, was there any, like, did I find any, like, ore or anything? Hmm. Oh, there's a giant fungus. Uh, actually, you guys want to like, um, we'll just like go capture that here real quick. There's a different kind of tree.
So there's like a big stone right there, but I can't do anything with it yet. Also, I don't know if this is just for the tutorial or if it's just for the uh, demo, but this map seems kind of small. You are missing resource vegetables. Really? I thought I had all kinds of vegetables. I'm missing sticks. Well, do we want to... Um, you know what I think I'm going to have to do, though? Again, I only have one picker, and all that picker is doing is, like, gathering food. So can I come in here and do, like... Oh, I like all the uh, resource icons. Above uh, the items. That's nice. So if I want this tree, do I got to cut down this tree? I guess we're cutting down some trees. So what has a vegetable then? Oh, probably these cabbage shrubs. So I, I just need to add cabbage shrubs to my rotation here. Do something kind of like that. And then we'll see what happens. I, yeah, I think I need another picker for the cabin here. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to run out of, like, regular workers. Okay, there's some, uh, oh wait, some rotten resources? weird yeah we're getting all of these like analysis reports again hitting escape here devs should take me back to the game doesn't do anything That is a big Do resources go bad? I'm not I'm not sure. I want to say probably not. Uh I do like the ability to uh, being able to like sort your warehouses and stuff, so that's cool. Wait, why are we storing clean water in our cellar when we have a perfectly good uh, water tower? I guess because we're Mac. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, we don't need water in the cellar. No, no, no. Don't do that. Wait, what? Oh, I have to. Oh. Well, wait. What is the water tower's purpose then? They can't because it doesn't generate clean water. So we have a double storage system for clean water. That's kind of weird. Okay. Wow. 
Whatever you want. So, uh, do I have to tell you to make tools then? What's, uh, what, what are we, what are we doing here? Default method. Oh, you make tools by default, it looks like. But yeah, you're missing sticks. Now, can't we get sticks from these trees, though? Actually, we can't. I may have cut down those trees for no, no good reason. We need to find some shrubs. Those are seeds. Yeah, what's what's gonna give me a a stick? What about these things? guys want to come knock these guys out? I want to see if these actually disappear. Or do they prune them? Actually, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Stop. Don't I have an option for pruning? Instead of withdrawing resources? Maybe not on these. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh no, it's gone. It is gone. Yeah, did did I analyze those things well we're gonna do it again oh it's like a pile of bones over here Well, the forge should be going here pretty soon. I just got you a bunch of sticks. Next, it's going to tell me like the warehouse is full or something. You can never have enough research in games like this. Or storage, I should say. Well, I mean, also research, but... Yeah, go analyze this stick tree over here. We must learn its technology. What'd you find out? Oh, that one's actually tree trunks and bark. Because that's actually like a tree, not a um, bush or whatever. I think I ran out of... Um... Well, actually, no. It should still be uh, gathering for... Yeah, yeah. So it's like once you have it set, then it'll continue just to run around and do its thing, which is which is good. So, like, I can mark that. I wonder if I should assign a bush to these guys. If I have any left. That I didn't cut down. Ooh, boy. What are these things? Did I analyze these?
Yeah, what, uh, what are... Oh, these are some kind of sprout? No, I have not analyzed those. I don't know what those are. I wish there was an analyze... Oh, these are, uh, medicinal. Oh. I was gonna say, I wish there was a button right on this screen that I could say analyze. Instead of having to come back here and then, whoops, come back here and then do a this. Oh, hey, I got my, um, my meals. So now I just need the tools, and for that I need... Some sticks. But I'm kind of having a problem finding sticks. Because that's tree trunk and bark. It said bushes, but I, I don't have, like, a lot of bushes on this map. There's some weird thin things here. More seeds over here. Did you figure out what these things are yet? Over here? Nope, not yet. Do these have sticks in them? Oh, they do. All these berry bushes have sticks. Oh, I can prune them and get sticks. Can... You can prune, right? Again, I wish I could prune from this menu, but I don't think that's an option. So I think what I have to do is I got to take this and I got to switch it over to like prune mode. Let me see here. How do I do that? Because right now it's in fr Okay, I guess I'm just going to cancel everything they're doing. And I'm going to go to trimming mode. And then just be like, just trim all these bushes. And then trim these. Alright, let's see what that does for us. What was the resource that I got from trimming these? Oh, like, uh, fibers. Alright, we're gonna get some new resources. That's definitely an interesting way of doing that. I, you're probably gonna have to run, like, two of these picker cabins. One... That's just concentrated on gathering, and another one that's just concentrated on, like, pruning, essentially. And you're gonna have to, like, divide up all of your bushes and whatnot. Because these are gonna grow back. I don't know how long it's gonna take. But, like, I have stopped 
the gathering of food, right? Okay. This thing should start kicking into gear here in a, a minute. See, this guy's got some sticks. They're putting the sticks over in the picker's cabin, though. And then he's going to deliver it to uh, the forge, I think, maybe. Yep, so they're delivering the sticks. We still need more, though. We don't have enough. Oh, it's going now. You don't look like you're moving. It looks like you're just slacking off. Oh, there it's pumping. All right. Oh, I like the little, like, tool pictures on the conveyor belt thingy. That's very nice. Here's some more sticks. Put them over here. So for food, I mean, I have 80 prepped meals and 116 basic. I want to get these tools done and just kind of see what the next quest is. So far, I'm surprised at, uh, that we're still doing good on water with only essentially two people working on it. What's the timer on this look like? Wait, our efficiency is only 33%? Why is that? So like, yeah, how, how long does it take to make one tool? Because this thing's been churning and we have not produced one tool yet. I wonder if it's going to do it in a stack of like 10. I'm assuming that's what it's doing, maybe. We're gonna find out here in a second. Yeah, gathering walking distance is always a problem. All right, survey says. Taking it to the where? Oh, yep, it, it was a stack of ten. Okay, interesting. Civil engineering. Okay, this is where this game starts to get crazy. We're getting into culture stuff. Weakness. Work and movement speed reduced. Losing citizens. Starvation, dehydration, serious illness. Districts. Huh. Special buildings. Where is... 
this? Let's see here. Where's this new thing I gotta build? Not that. I'm just kind of like looking around here. Um, resource refinery, storage, population, technician. Oh, there's an infirmary. Ah, here's the thing I need. Okay. Canteen, table, bench. Hmm. Living space meant for uh, urban gathering and leisure time. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, uh, so kind of wrapping up my uh, my first look on this game. I will say that doing a first look on a city builder, you know, only doing like an hour is kind of hard because these games just get deeper and deeper and, and generally better and better the more you go. So you generally have to play a game like this for many, many hours to get like a real feel for it. So I guess just to kind of give like an early impression, uh, as I mentioned, I, I do play a lot of these games. And sometimes you can tell pretty early on if it's going to be some like one that's worth your time or not. I'd say this one definitely has my interest peaked. It is definitely doing a few things that other city builders are not. Like the districts thing, which we just saw is interesting. It's like the culture thing is kind of interesting. The way that it's doing like analysis and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, we haven't even seen the tech tree yet and some of the other stuff that it's doing. So, yeah, look, this is another one where, like, when it comes out, I'm definitely interested in playing it. Um, it's, it's piqued my interest enough to, like, give it a full run. So, yeah, 100%. This seems like it's a, a very, you know, good, solid city builder. Uh, I can see some people being uh, off put by the art style. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's a neat art style. I like all the little animations and all that, so. Yeah. I don't know off the top of my head if this game has a release date or not, but yeah, again, if this looks interesting, make sure you wishlist it on Steam. It definitely helps out the developers. But yeah, I think with that, yeah, we'll uh, wrap it up right there, so. For those who are watching on YouTube, uh, thanks for checking out the video, and we will see you guys in the next one. So thanks again.